apocalyptic scenario for the Russian army in Crimea. To liberate the annexed Crimea, it is necessary to strike at the Crimean bridge and destroy the base of the Black Sea Fleet of the Russian Federation in Sevastopol. This will create prerequisites for Russia to sit down at the negotiating table on the fate of the peninsula. This was stated in an interview with Oboz Revatel by Ukrainian military expert Alexei Melnik. He drew attention to the fact that Ukraine in these negotiations will look for compromises that are beneficial for itself. That is, the expert explained, it is necessary to cut off the Crimea from the supply of military goods and the transfer of troops. In this case, says Melnik, the Kremlin will be forced to negotiate. Russia will have no way out, except to negotiate with Ukraine on providing a green corridor for the exit of the occupying forces and that part of the civilians who, for obvious reasons, cannot remain in the territory of Crimea, which will be controlled by the Ukrainian government. He recalled that Crimea is no longer an inviolable territory. Ukraine can already liberate this territory. Russia is preparing for the fact that the peninsula will have to be defended. On April the 17th, the head of the Ukrainian intelligence, Kirill Budinov, once again confirmed his forecast that the armed forces of Ukraine would enter Crimea this spring. According to him, there is still quite a lot of time until the end of spring 2023. Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council Alexei Danilov said that in order to liberate Crimea from Russian invaders, Ukraine will use all types of non-prohibited weapons. Crimea is the territory of Ukraine, and we will test and use there any weapons not prohibited by international laws that will help liberate our territories, Danilov said.